Yar. Mahaha. Hey, how's it going? It is I, the Monius. And today, it's a game dev stream. Because why not? Uh, there we go. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd do a little bit of game devving for Arcanian 2. Just to keep me busy and just so I can get some progression made. Maybe chat with people. Yada yada yada. So let's just uh, not delay and get cracking. What I'm currently doing right now is trying to uh, get all my equipment stuff up and running. At least that's the plan anyway. Where I can show off a uh, quick thing here. This is just, it's a lot of filling in the blanks. Hello, kid little shadow. Welcome to the stream. It's going to be a pretty quiet stream today. No need to overstress myself for once. It's always nice. Am I right? Let's see. Oh, no. That's not it. It's you. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Uh, there we go. Aha! Yes, right here is where I'm just working on shop-based stuff for Marco. Where you can buy your goods. Good old good buying. Anyway, thought it was something random. Yes. I am also Wait, I'm also uh, working on icons and stuff and trying to think up of pa other passives for Magi. Because I'm almost got all the skills filled, but it's just like one unused skill and a few passives that I have to think of without completely breaking the game, mind you. Like, yeah, right here. Still trying to think of an attack here and, a f and at least four more passives here. I showed on Twitter recently where if you equip an element here you'll change your default shot and you can do that and it'll also change some of your attacks oh that's weird shouldn't be doing that Uh, cosmetics and all. Whoosh, slash, whoosh, slash. Whooshing, whooshing, whooshing. Too much fun. <laughs> okay. Trying to think of other skills. The other thing I gotta do is uh, update my equipment stuff here. 
because I haven't done that in a bit, so I have to also take care of that. Set everything back to normal here. Hmm. Holy cheers. Homie G is calling me. Why not? I'll answer. Hello, homie G, you're on stream. How can I help you? Hold on just a sec. Yeah, homie G is testing something. I figure I'll give him a quick hand with this while working on game. Okay, that was weird. Is he still on the call or? Jake, can you hear me? Well, I can't hear you. Am I disconnected? Okay. That should be disconnected. Right? Yeah, it should be. Okay, anyway, uh, back to game diving. Because game diving is important. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm just trying to think of shit that I gotta do. Okay, um... Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Thinking of stuff, of course. Okay. I gotta think of another. I should get some of these up and running. So I better make sure they're actually what they're supposed to be. Oh, go 
gold ring is that one. And number four was the flippers. a lot like this layout. That'll be interesting. I don't plan on getting Gia Knight though. Too, too, it's too... It, it, it doesn't fit my criteria. And plus there's like too many other like other stuff you have to do outside of the program in order to actually use it. And it's just no. I am not that uh, dedicated. Watch, I have the infinite money glitch. Or infinite money cheat, I should say. Haha, I has infinite monies. Oh shit, I forgot to put the price tag for that. better I'll make it 160 okay. no, just to make sure hey oh, welcome to the stream I forgot what I put the... 160, okay. Satisfied with MZ, but I also enjoy MV. Yeah, either one works. MZ might be slightly better if you want to like dwell into using F Seeker to make your particle animations and shit. But I am absolutely terrible at making that.
Wife played it and noticed some goofy oversights. Well, you gotta make sure you fix them, man! You always gotta consider every possible contingency with that stuff. If pe it, where people will jump out of the loophole to find, to try and see if that works, and then sometimes you go and reward them for their curiosity, or you, uh, or you punish them, one or one or the other. There we go. Let's go get myself mysterious amounts of monies. Look at that! Holy sh! Holy fucking shit! I'm rich. Alrighty. That's what happens when you buy the item. The item will just be sold and you don't have to worry about looking at it again. So this side... Like this side is like all the uh, con like reusable items and then this side will be all the equipment you'll find. Although I gotta put the armor at the top here. And the six item, six armor there. Wait, hold on. Let me check something here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, well, probably what I might do is, um,. Might make some couple treasure chests where you can get these normally. So that way you don't have to waste the money, but the option is there to buy them in case you want to get them early. Okay, now for that armor. I suppose the smartest thing to do would be to name my stuff so I have a little easier time trying to find what I'm trying to fucking look for. <laughs> it's here, right? Oh, it's at the top, that's why. Equips and items, that's why. Hudderp. Okay, so the thing was there already. Forged armor. Gold ring. Spike shoes to be a thing, but I haven't found a way. Well, I've, I've, there's a few ways I've been trying to implement it, but it has not been working the way I want it to.
Just put the equipment on, just make sure everything is... No, that has it equipped. We don't want that. Also, bear in mind to all of you, if you're watching this, you may come across spoilers unintentionally. So bear that thought in mind. Do wear these with caution. Okay, so I do have that implemented. It's called Wind Festival, it's from Monochemia. So I do have the Leap Shoes implemented. Excellent. Yeah, having these, and combined with the uh, the wing leap, and the what was it? And having that, I think I was. Was it you? Oh no, it isn't. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. That's to be expected. Oopsie daisy. Oh, well, whatever. Load game, load. Haha. -ha. I am the indie game now. Okay. Shit. Okay. Yeah, I gotta move a couple of these up. Those will just stay where it's at, but the forged armor is gonna have to move. I wanna move it up to the top there. Let's see here. Let's see here. Um. 
Okay, it's so we go one. Man, I only have five things on there. What in the actual deuce? Oh shit. Wrong thing. Well, so 34 is the default, so let's just try to remember. 37, 34, 37.
eight, but just need to do some tests. There's always tests. Always, 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 always. Because I just love doing tests. Don't you? Tests give me life. I just love doing tests. Sometimes yes, sometimes others no. Oh yeah. And I just realized I did one tiny thing. What is her default job? Initial jump speed seven. All right. From button to touch. Yeah, yeah. Always got you have to like make like an, a a mental note of that every time. Just always make sure if you're doing events like that, it usually has to be touch. Did I never do that? Why is that on? Spike guard is on. 
No. Spike. That's supposed to be it. Explains it. So it's good to be in depth with in depth when testing. Insert random Glados quote here in regards to testing. There we go. Perfect. No. Aha. <laughs> I love it when everything works according to plan. Excellent. All right. Cover all the energy immediately, Mega Man. Have you ever covered all the energy with Mega Man? I would call the energy with Mega Man. I would cover all the all the enemy and energy we need with Mega Man. Alright. Alright, since that's since we got all that active, it's time to head out to the field. But I can't do it from where I'm currently at. Ugh. <laughs> Ain't no one gonna be fucking with me. Can't be starting there. Gotta start here. Gotta stop slouching. I can't help it though. I need I need to slouch in order to concentrate hard like better. It's unhealthy, but it is what it is. Why is it those displaying? that out later. Okay. 
Let's test. So you do one damage by default. Two damage from that thing. Then put the forged armor on. That didn't decrease the damage. I hate everything! Maybe 25% isn't enough. Then again, is it even on is the, is the other question. Let's quickly check and see. Let's find out. Ah, Lectabuzz. Right. Are you actually on? Whee! Yeah, you're on. Properly. Mega Man Zero Bonds? Well, you're not wrong. There were the, the, the Mega Man Zero series definitely had a play in my uh, influence in this. Or the, the game influenced a lot of things in this, I should say. So how much the only difference being I'm not adding some ranking system. Eh? working fun. Mechanics underwater. That's a bad combination. You have to just abandon that, having slopes in underwater areas. Yeah, 
Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the the ranking system in the Mega Man Zero series, to be honest. Yeah, I was not a fan. Okay. At least those are working. And the gold one should be working fine, but just to make sure. Okay, that's for that. There. Yeah, we got the everything here for that. And all that's for that. Alright. Okay, the gold ring mechanics are working properly. Excellent. Hmm. That gives me an idea now. That gives me an idea. I have an idea for a passive now. So we're going to be heading to the A Sprite. Right there. We're gonna make a passive where um, that will increase the poten potency of using of, of uh, finding heal potions, where it recovers like ten normally, but if you have this passive, it'll double it, making things like easier for you. Weird to call it an aura ability, but but considering that in this game you can have your uh passives turn on and off anytime on the field and yeah so you can just choose to have it on or off whenever you want so you can just cheat a little like if you find a random potion quickly turn on this passive and then you can like, get more health back for when you find a healing potion on the floor Here, you gotta update that. And the ability will be called 
Pharmacology. I'm debating if I'm going to be adding the spread shot, but chances are I still might add it anyway. Though I might be, uh, there's going to be slight adjustments I'm planning on doing. Because, um, one of the skills that I have already, I may be removing it to make it something else. Because I noticed that I have more, I, I, a lot of the, a lot of Maggie's attacks are more melee centered when I don't have as much... Uh, long ranged based stuff, so I'm trying to accommodate for both sides that they like, like playing safe. Because I'm thinking of changing the heavy thrust to a like something a shooting based, which will be a uh, either the, like a spreading shot move, and then this one I'm gonna be changing. Uh, my, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm gonna be making it a uh, it'll change your shots to instead of just spread. Or your regular shot, it'll be like a buster shot, but it you only shoot one at a time and there's a small cooldown between. And it also pushes you back a bit when you use it. That's what I'm thinking of planning on doing. Okay. Uh, long and long process that I have created. Yeah, that's the thing. I was, it's like, she's becoming too much like Zero and needs to have a little bit more Mega Man in her, if, if you catch my drift. <laughs> But the only slight problem though, if I change that skill, it's also going to cause something else to occur. Which I will show. But then again, I could easily just slightly alter one of the other things. But here, here, here's the slight problem if I when I decide to do this. But it's, it's an easy uh, solution I can do with it. That will demonstrate right now. Because as I mentioned, with the elemental auras and stuff, is where um, where you equip these and it changes your your default shot to something else, like as I shown earlier. Still. Hmm. Anyway, there. Now, with this move, Heavy Thrust, that's its original thing. To be honest, yeah, I'm better off changing that to something else because it interferes with this move, the Blade Beam. So what I'm thinking of doing is removing this and changing to it like some shooting move. And, um... Because that, 
change that move into this move called Force Punch, which is essentially Falcon Punch! Punch! So I'm thinking of making instead to have the, uh, the blade beam transform into the, uh, what's it called? The, um, yeah, have the blade beam turn into the force punch instead. Here, here's, here, here it is in action. Punch! <laughs> Blows enemies away. Falcon Punch! <laughs> yeah, that's more or less the inspiration. Beast from Tales. She she Senko! She she Senko! And they all fly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'll call it Susie. Also. Take a look. She can swim now. Which is something that can only be done if she has the flippers equipped. It will. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why can't I fire? Oh, it's because I have an element equi equipped, right? Oh, I have to fix that. I haven't thought up a move for uh, like a default shot or a shot for the thunder element yet. Still work in progress. <laughs> Still a work in progress. Right. But yeah, chances are that's what I'm planning on doing is changing Blade Beam to the to the beast move. And then remove the that spear move, because it just doesn't seem very practical to use. No, that's equipment and skills.
I hope this all the text will fit in one thing though. That's the other slight concern. I think it should be fine. Oh, nope. There we go. Okay. Uh, in Goto or G Develop. I've never used any of them. The only other one I tried using was Construct 2, and it, it made my head hurt. Hey, I got that skill. Becomes Mac compatible. Yeah, there is no plans for PGM to be going on to a to going to a Mac. What was it? Um, the other unless Game Maker has a uh, Mac for that and all that stuff, but I'm not too sure, honestly. I don't know why you use Mac, though. Oh, perfect, cool. Hey, a new passive, Pharmacology! But it's not fully implemented just yet. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Oh, I hate webs.
Always remember to save. You never know, because this program does have a tendency to crash. It suffers the same kind of BS that Adobe does. I'd say it's a little of both. I'd say it's also uh, them being stingy. Gotta walk animal. That's a Mume reference. It's getting hot in here. Before I do. What the deuce game? Why are you being mean? That's why. Joe, okay. Wait, just a second. Oh, you twat. There we go. <laughs> that should fix that. Okay. It's getting hot. I gotta fix that. Fuck 
off. What now? What? I <sighs> Okay, you pissed me off. Get back there. Eh? <sighs> this game... Eh? Oh. <sighs> Fuck off. Text 162. There. That's not it. There we go. Fuck off. Leap. Okay, you're done trolling me. Load, hell spawn, load. There we go. Perfect. Done. Okay. Perfect. New ability. Yay! A new passive. Cool. I was written the world.
Okay, now that we got that done, well, it's nice to see new stuff to add it. <laughs> I guess while I'm doing that, I might as well go and uh, follow through what I said I was going to do. Okay, where's my falcon punch? It doesn't, it's not a huge. Not a huge thing I gotta fix at least. Well, adjust being the word. Ta-da! Done. There we go. And then I can change that spear and make it an actual buster-based attack. Maybe they, they maybe they'll make it the spread shot like uh, like the original, or maybe they'll make it something else and change the spread shot to like when you equip the ice aura instead. We'll see. There. Done. That takes care of that. Alrighty, I need some of those too. I need something to listen to. Because I can. And I will. Good old Dragon Quest. Everyone loves Dragon Quest. You better. Or I'll slap you. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way. Should I really go and implement it now? Yeah, why not? Let's go get a... Uh, we'll do that spreader thing like uh, I said I was going to do. But instead, what I am going to do, though, it's not going to be for the... Uh, it's not going to be a shot. It's, it is going to be a uh, an elemental ability.
There it is. There's the thing I'm looking for. The icicle. Although realistically, I should just do this instead. There it is. Despite the composer being a real piece of work, yes I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Despite his transgressions, there's no denying that, his, that the work that he's done for the series is, was really good. Pretty much copy all of this. Let's see, should I'll make it five? Oh, that's right. This, this one isn't going to have a uh, thing like that, so it won't be as... I won't need, to, need as many stuff for it. Okay. This will require a lot of shortcuts to make. Let's see. Run, walk, waiting, and jump. Yeah. Where are you? Okay, here we are. Oh, and fall too.
Okay, fuck it. <laughs> All else is just do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this one, this one is like with the, the fire wave thing, so I had to accommodate certain things when doing that. But this one, you can't, this one's like a single button press, you can't just hold it in and fire a bunch of spreaders at once. This isn't Contra, this is Arcanian 2. <laughs> Alright, let's give her a check. Let's test this baby out. The new ice spread. I need a Pepsi. Okay. Oh, right. Guess what help if I actually get the thing. And why not? We'll just have this there too. Unlockable Contra Wildfire Mode. <laughs> uh, if you want Unlockable Contra Fire Mode, then you get the Fire Aura and you get your Flamethrower. Or by Mega Man X terms, Fire Wave! Fire Wave! Fire Wave! Fire Wave! Look at me! Fire Wave! Fire wave! Fire wave! Fire wave! Anyway. Ooh, still doing it. Hold up. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Okay, let's just go back to the cursor. Yeah, Wick is just like, I understand you like testing out your new powers, but please, not indoors. <laughs> Alright, uh, cursor. Something ain't right. I tell you, that boy ain't right. Mm. 
Hello, Crazy Max. Why is it doing that? That is so weird. And just no, 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 no never ending, uh. Never ending problems with your PC there, man. Fuck. Oh, because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I am a fucking moron. Oh, it's working just fine. I just forgot to put the thing to the actual thing I'm supposed to put it on. Dumbass. <laughs> okay. For reals this time. It was working perfectly fine. I just forgot to change the actual the bullet that he's supposed to shoot. Hadurp. Hold up. There's one, it, it looks like that right now, but just a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. There's one thing, one other thing I forgot to do. Uh, spin fire range will go 70. Wiper. Now let's give it a shot. Falling two. Okay, falling two is causing. All right, where's the shooting at? There it is, right there. Found it. None of that, thank you. Fixes that. This game's supposed to be a Mega Man clone? Eh, more or less. <laughs> Except there's no uh, gaining abilities from Robot Masters. The, well, the, yeah, there is going to be like, quote-unquote, Dr. Light capsules in the form of statues. And they're all and they're in each, and you unlock uh, passes and skills you can use. And, you, and the, they're not armors you get and shit. I'll demonstrate it right now. 
just to show you what I mean. Better than Mighty Neck. Everything's better than Mighty Number no. Nine. Everything is better than Mighty Number no. Nine because that was just. Oh, uh, it was not good. If you're curious about this game, this is the sequel to my first game, which I released on Steam and Switch. I will not provi be providing you a copy. You have to buy it yourself, unfortunately. I'm not that generous. But yeah, these are it right here. You have to approach it. Give me a second here. Wait. Okay, let's just quickly turn that off. That game. What game? Mighty? I'm not in any rush to play that. Unless you're thinking of something else. Or do you mean some other Mega Man clone? A full playthrough of his game on which So you are talking about Mighty Number no. Nine or kinda of confused here. Okay. Wait, what? You meant mighty. So mighty number nine, yeah, that's what I was talking about. So as you can see there, that's like how you... Yeah, I, I definitely can agree with you there. Them canceling Mega Man Legends 3 and Mega Man Universe. I was not pleased with that myself. Hey. Anyway. I died a little inside upon, upon hearing all of that. Yeah, he did do a... But yeah, Crazy Max uh, Popcorn did do a playthrough of Arcanian 1. So if you want to check his channel out, you can see the first Arcanian for yourself. Anyway, um, yeah, the way the statues work is similar to how they did in the first game. But instead of the, uh, the thing just giving it to you, you have to actually go out of your way to actually find all the statues in each level. And here's how it looks like when you obtain the thing. There you go. <laughs> so the, the, the picture of Magi there is a little odd. I have to do some adjustments to make it so that it appears at the center all the time. I have an idea how I can pull that off. I'll get to it, inevitably. Okay. Alright. Back to what I was actually originally working on. 
doing adjustments on the other thing. The image could be better. Okay. Well, it is a uh, first draft. I'm sure I can be able to improve it. What do you know? Looks like I might have needed it after all. Okay, we'll be back in two seconds. Just gotta hit the washroom. <laughs> It doesn't feel right to see well the thing the ice spears aren't moving through the walls it's like bits of their uh, essence just like slowly creeping through it's mostly there for effect that doesn't do anything in particular
Ugh. Getting tired. Wait. Yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> Let's just quickly fix that. That is not going to be a thing. That is not going to be a thing. Just so it doesn't stay as long as it needs to. Can't be doing that. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. I know what to listen to next. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Can't let you brew that, Star Fox. Okay, 
instead of that, I'm, there's going to be a slight. Wait, on release? No. Realize something. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. That's gonna be a slight problem. Bit of a wait time instead. You have to sleep, you sleep. Can't just, uh. Don't want to kill your body. why when I feel tired I sleep it's just something I do more often now since I'm getting older so that's why I don't stream as often as I usually do during my work days but since I'm on vacation I uh, tend to uh, then I have a little bit more time and energy to actually stream a lot more frequently Age is catching up to me, folks. I don't have as much free energy as I used to. It's a darn pity. Tis a pity, I say. Tis a pity. Why is it still fucking doing that?
Well, I'm pretty good at staying up for long periods of time, as it's sort of required for me to be able to be a work on nights. Since working nights is sort of my uh, thing, so. Okay, now you're legit beginning to piss me off. What else is there? Oh, I can drink Pepsi for days, easily. People think I go through like six cans a day, but no, I don't actually. I probably go through maybe two a day or a full bottle. Like, not not like the giant two liter bottle, more like the, uh, the smaller ones. Okay, you. Okay, I'm getting annoyed. What's going on? Why isn't there a waiting period? waiting period, but it's not fucking doing it. Is there something else I'm missing? I can't drink black coffee, or any coffee for that matter. That is just not my thing. The drinks are usually Pepsi, OJ, or Monster Energy drinks. Monster, and I only drink Monster Energy drinks when I'm working. I don't, and I only drink one a night. I don't go fucking crazy like some people do. Why isn't the waiting period doing it? I'm actually legit getting a, a little bit pissed off about this. Wait a s- I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking 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 idiot. I'm a 
I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I was fucking around with the fire thing this entire time and not the ice one. I'm a fucking idiot. Ugh, oh, goddammit. That helps if I actually pay attention! Enough of that guy. Okay. Decrease it a little bit. Just so it can't be recklessly spammed and cause problems later. bad so that would they that way it isn't like recklessly spam so yeah that should that should work for what it is anyway where was I oh right can't let you do that Star Fox wrong thing there we go <laughs> can't let you do that well it isn't Fox McCloud. Shoot me down if you can. Baby, long time no see. You guys should just turn around and leave because you do not want to piss off my uncle. Oh, just who I needed to see. Star Wolf. Alright. Now that we got that done. Next thing. I don't know. There's 50 billion things I gotta do. <laughs> I know. I know what I can do. This shit day, since you guys are here to watch and stuff. I'll show you all the beginning of the game. Mind you, the intro stage is subject to change. I may be redoing the entire intro stage. <laughs> there we go, much better. Insert random theme. We'll just do this because it's pretty much because this is sort of the theme that I'm having a thought of for the beginning of this. But no, nope, that's not it. Here it is. That's not it. There it is. 
By the way, major spoilers because this actually this, this actually um summarizes the events of the first game. As I mentioned, though, this is a work in progress, so. So whatever is shown here on the intro stage right now is bound to change. Dun dun dun! It's a big ass ship. Away we go. And it begins. Bum -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum. Gives you an idea to what you need to do. Get you used to the controls. In between there is where we're going to be adding like a cutscene where you'll start seeing the actual these guys like start dropping down and one of them will be like telling like Magi to surrender or whatever. But you, but she'll she'll like pretty much shake her head saying no fuck off and then they start attacking and then you just have to keep going through. Ow, rude. That was rude, I dare say. Piss off. Push, 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 push. What? Puzzles in my platformers? In my Mega Man clones? Yeah, I don't know what causes that... That weird background thing. That's like an in-program problem. That's, and this is also the other thing that I'm going to be changing up is the uh, the mini boss here. It's going to be the same, but I'm just changing as a, I'm going to be changing his attack pattern and just the way how the uh, the entire sequence is handled. And plus, like the way the bullets are being fired is a little too fast for my liking. So it's going to be adjusted. And that weird, those weird hyper jumps is also a uh, engine issue. I have brought it up with the uh, with the uh, developers of the program, and even they can't figure out what the fuck's going on with it. As you can see, like the entire structure isn't fully done because I knew it was like, yeah, I need a. I need to readjust some things. And then it'd be another cutscene to appear. 
which would cause the entire forest to go fire. So they're going, the enemy's going Sonic the Hedgehog 3 up in this area. Nah, I want to keep the background and stuff. The the whole black background thing is not on purpose. That it's it's a programming error, and um, they're trying to fix it, but they haven't done mentioned anything about it yet. So I'm gonna be doing some adjustments to make sure it doesn't pull that. But here's the actual boss. You will fight this boss again in one of the selectable stages, but will be a lot more aggressive. Like that fire attack that she was doing, that like shooting fireballs, she does it way faster with that combo. And she has like a couple other attacks as well. But it gives you an idea like who you're up against, so that way if you when you do fight her again, you'll at least it'll give you it'll give you a bit of a advantage to know what kind of strategy she has, so that way you're not just going to be completely fucked on what the strategies are, so... Yeah. And her name is Flamia Del Flair. And the other one is Glacia Leglave. I gotta make like an actual warping animation. I'll just play this theme again. Just it seems like it's fitting. <laughs> Just to add some tension to the, to the to the scene. And there's the big bad himself, Emperor Barbarossa of the Mechanos Empire. Look at the size difference. <laughs> the guy's a fucking giant. <laughs> yeah, what I have planned for this guy, he he has like some attacks that I'm gonna be inspired of from uh Zephiel, I think his name was, from Fire Emblem. 
the one with Roy in it. Because I know one of his attacks is where he's going to... I'm going to have him do, like... He's going to hold, like, a similar weapon to what the, the main villain has in that game. And he's going to do, like, a spinning attack and does, like, a charge against you. Yeah, as you can see, there's a little bit of dialogue cut off. I gotta fix that part. set up I guess basically what has happened is between the first game and this they pretty much they took all the hidden technology they found deep within the island after the incident in the first game and they used it to their advantage and they called it the aura system which is more or less a fancy word for uh a fa well i won't say a fancy word but it's just a means of being able to detect their enemies from far distances there's an actual name name for that for for it in terms of war but i keep forget i forgot what the term is called a scanning for a scanner or something. I can't. I can't remember the actual military term for it. But yeah. There's the map. Plot, 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 plot. I'm not staring at your chesticles now. And here we are. <laughs> Back to the, the, the main hub. That's not supposed to happen, but yeah, that's where the shop is. Anyway, that's a small little issue there. I'll just quickly remove that. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all got to see the the intro to the game, so. But as I mentioned, it will change. But yeah, you will be, you start off with like 10 HP and you can increase it, so yeah, you'll you'll definitely be able to take a lot more hits this time around. So you can be a little bit more reckless with your, with your playing styles. 
this like let's see. Okay. Here we go. These are all like library books you can actually read, so it gives you a little more lore to the Arcanian universe. That actually, that that entire that that book there has a lot of a major meaning behind it, besides just like the events of the uh, of this game. Like I, I'm not gonna get into it because it pretty much what this is is like to, to, to put it in a more simpler term. It's if one major event with multiverse theories or whatever. And it, and it has a causality to affect, like, different universes and worlds. And this is just one of many things that occurred. It's been one year. <laughs> yeah. It's been taking me some time to get this one finished. I always say, oh, yeah, I'm going to finish this, this entire game in, like, two months. Nope. <laughs> More like it'll take me, like, six years. I'm hoping not, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much the intro for the thing. And then you get to select your four levels, get them done, and then do the intermission, do four more levels, and then do the castle stages, which is four additional levels. And there's going to be bonus levels, too! That's right, there's going to be bonus levels in this game. I haven't started on a lot of it, mind you, but this is going to be one of the bonus levels you can actually tackle in this. To get even more goodies. Who says I have to just limit it to just the usual, like, formula of having, like, the usual stuff? Mind you, these bonus stages will require you to actually have some of the uh, power-ups in your inventory and all that, because uh, you will die if you don't possess them. So just oh, trying to go through the uh, levels without any of the power-ups, you will die, like, for sure. So it's kind of a, a requirement. I just haven't figured out what like kind of means I'm going to have for uh oh. yeah I haven't figured out what kind of means I'm going to have for uh for the bonus stages to be unlocked just yet so I'm still in the process of thinking of how I'm going to do it but uh like the inspiration for this thing was basically the uh the um the Metal Mario fight and and the stage itself because uh, sp minor spoilers, but the boss for the for these for this place are going to be crystallized versions of Boggy and Wicca. So you'll be fighting two bosses in this level, which will be Clone Moggy and Clone Wicca. And I might even make another bonus stage for um, yeah, like make at least two bonus stages. As it, as it stands, there's going to be at least 15 levels altogether. A lot more than the uh, 11 stages that were in the original game. I mean, if I if I, if I want, I can go I can go even uh, another extra mile and make it 16, but I don't want to I don't want to jump the gun. I, it's going to be 14 right now, but I might be consider 15 if I have the energy to do another stage. But I have, but I'd rather focus on connecting all the dots first and getting the other stuff done first. That's why I'm not in a huge rush to finish the crystal mine bonus stage just yet.
At least not until I get the actual other stages done. Because right now the current one that I'm near finishing is level 11 here, which is the second castle stage. And then I move on to the next one, which is the throne, and then the final level, which is the core. So, lots to do. And I'm like really, literally right at the boss here. Which is this thing here, which you can barely see. I just haven't done like any attack patterns for it just yet. And the way I'm going to be handling uh, the next level is it's going to be like a boss rush, but you're going to be handling the non mechanos officers bosses. So like the boss that I showed in the demo, uh, Flamey and all them, you you'll you'll you won't be fighting them in this level, but it'll be like a boss rush where you'll be like go go through 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 areas, fight a boss go through a few more areas, fight a boss. Pretty much it's going to behave the same way how the final level in Arcanian 1 was. And that's pretty much how my train of thought is going to be for the level 12. And then for the final level, it will be uh, pretty much a similar, but midway you'll go through a, a similar boss rush, but it'll be like the traditional Mega Man way, where you'll be in an area where you can just go in four rooms and beat up the bosses, and then yeah. Oh no, there won't be a, another Dark Antenna. No. <laughs> All the levels are going to be... While they're pretty long, they're not going to be Dark Antenna long. I have, I, I, I'm definitely going to be making sure that doesn't happen. So, have no fear. There won't be a... Super long and difficult Dark Antenna this time around. I'm also going to be adding like three different difficulties, like no, like easy, normal, hard, or, or I might call that easy being casual, normal being classic, and then chaos being hard. And easy will be pretty much like be a lot more generous with the uh, the checkpoints. I'm also thinking of um, like a live system. Where if you die, you just instead of going back to the checkpoint, you just get off. You respawn at the last, at the at the point you entered. But I don't know. That'd be too generous. But I'm on debate on that one. Because what I do want to do for like the ultimate hard mode is um, change up some of the rooms so that uh. Yeah, change up some of the rooms to, to add more to the difficulty so it requires you to actually go out and look for the other abilities. Although what I might do for the, like the casual mode is um, I will decrease like a lot of the enemies and bosses stats and attacks so they'll only use like certain attacks so it's a lot easier to read their uh, attack patterns. Just so it's like a little more comfortable to get into the game instead of just getting your face kicked in like immediately so that way the ca like the casual around you don't have as much to have to look out for while in later difficulties you'll fe feel the more actual game itself So yeah, there's lots, there's lots, there's still lots planned. Oh, the, uh, the, the Game Boy Arcanian. That is a, uh, it's not a remake or anything. It's a, it's an, it is a new entry, but what I'm planning on having it be is a, uh, it's going to serve as an in-between between, between the first and second game. So yeah, we're going, the, we're going Kingdom Hearts with this. We'll consider, we'll be considering the Game Boy game like the Chain of Memories. So it's going to be more of a, Epilogue slash prologue to the second game, and like the uh, epilogue to the first game, but a prologue to the second game. And it's not going to be very long. It's going to be very short. It's not. It's going to be nowhere as long as the first game. 
You could probably beat it in an hour if you tried. <laughs> but that but that game is also going to be having some of the mechanics that the second game is going to have too. So, but the main vi like the villain in that is going to be a different is someone new, but he's linked to the to the group in this game because um, the way the uh, the villains are is they're set up as like chess pieces. Like, the th that's their theme. Because, uh, Flamia is the knight. Uh, Glacia is the queen. And, um, the other two, one is the rook, and the other one is the bishop. And the king, obviously, being, you know, the king. Being the, the leader of the entire group. But, um, there's the pawn. <laughs> oh no 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 no! There, we're not gonna have seven spinoffs. Fuck that! No, we're not doing that. I'm not. I'm not even pulling that shit. <laughs> but yeah, the the pawn is essentially going to be the villain for the Game Boy game. He's pretty much there to give them a message, just like, "Hey, we're coming for you. <laughs> we know. We know you're here, and we're coming for you." And that's pretty much it. <laughs> there's not there's not it's not not really a, anything big but i i'll probably do more work on the game boy one once i get a lot more progress done on in the second game but it's not a huge thing and then i'm in a huge rush to finish but there is a lot that i still got to do in this game It sounds like I'm being a little bit overambitious, but at the same time, I also know my where I'm limi limiting it at. But I've also been uh, having an I idea to make like a DLC or something. Oh, I'll be having it. I want to do it before Arcanian 2 releases. So I definitely will be releasing the Game Boy game before the second game. Just so it helps serves as a little bit of a prologue to the second game. So people will know what will happen. I'm just... I just... The only thing I don't want to do is make, like, this huge, giant, convoluted fucking storyline and, and make it like Kingdom Hearts and the Trails games. Like, at most, I want to make this a, uh... Yeah, I don't want to do a P6 burnout, because that game has... Yeah, Fantasia 6 has given me huge burnout over the year... Over the last little while. And even then, with Fantasia 6, like, the my, my main issue right now is, um... It's the, it's the spreading. There's a lot of spreading that I have to do... And with the vision that I have for the end game right now, it's I feel it's just something that I feel is beyond my my uh, uh what, 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 what would I call it? I guess level of expertise. I guess and it just like I feel a slightly overwhelmed. Like I know it's possible for me to do it, but at the same time, it's just. That's it's it's gonna take a lot of work to do, and I'm not ready to jump to, to dive into that just yet. But yeah, there is plenty planned for what I have in store for Arcanian Two, Because I do have like a good clear vision of what I want to do. It's just getting all of it implemented and done. That's why I usually say like Arcanian 2 is around 60 to 70% done. Because as soon as I get all the levels done, then I'll at least be at 80% done. Then the, everything else is just getting everything else implemented. It'll also help me if I actually have testers because... Oh yeah, Arcanian Demonica. Yeah, that's the, that, that. I guess that's, I guess that's technically like another spin-off because the 
the Demonica game takes place before the Ar the actual Arcanian series, and it more it's more tied into what I have planned for the third game if I decide to want to do it. But I'm also hoping that when I do eventually release this game and Arcanian two, the reception will be good enough for me to uh, to make a third Arcanian. But I'm relying on these two games specifically to do really well for to be uh, to give me a, a green light of my own personal thing to uh, actually go through with making a third and all that. So the sec the, the, this this game and uh, Arcanian Demonica better get it a lot of support, or else there's not going to be any more. <laughs> I'll have to do something else. Yeah, but yeah, a lot of people are actually liking how Arcanian Demonica is turning out. Like even I'm surprised, like the at the um, the reception I'm getting from that game. Because I knew. Did Pearl vs. Grey do okay? Uh, not really. No, <laughs> I haven't. I only seen like one YouTube video cover the game, and uh, yeah. I do check it out. I do check like, like every once in a while to see if anyone's done a run on the game, but I haven't seen anything except for the one. So I was like, whatever. I wasn't expecting that game to do well anyway. But you know what they say: it's a slow burn. Someone might may eventually see it, and then they'll recommend it to everyone else, and maybe it'll explode in popularity. Because that's the only game I'm going to be doing with that series. It's just Pearl vs. Gray. I did have an idea for a sequel which would be called Pearl and Grey, but uh, considering how this Pearl vs. Grey did, uh, that's not going to be happening anytime soon. Yep. It's just the way it is. Because while it's nice to make all these games, I also kind of need the money to get some of the stuff done the way I want it to as well. But, 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 but if, if, if you guys want to reverse that change and hope for a Pearl and Grey game, you should all recommend playing Pearl vs. Grey to other people so it gains more traction. And with more traction means more sales, and more sales gives me more motivation to want to work on it. Or, and go through it actually making it. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, people. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> There's been some instances where uh, there has been some instances where I'm like watching some bigger YouTubers and VTubers and all that, and there and I see them sometimes they're on Steam and going like, oh I don't know what game to play, erg arg, and I'm somewhat tempted to like, hey if you're bored why don't you try out the this game, uh, Arcanian Tale of Magi. Why don't you give that game a shot if you like Mega Man games? Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Yeah, go play it, please. Please, give me, give me some attention. Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm begging you, I need the fucking money. <laughs> but I don't want to, like, come off as, like... Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to come off as, like, that guy who wants to, like... Oh yeah, I made a game. Hey, 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 look at me, look at me. I made a game. Aren't I cool? Yeah, I, I, I just don't want to do that. It just makes me look annoying if I just keep announcing like a near like a five, four year old game. So yeah, and even then, yeah, our audience is small. So, but the only way uh, people are gonna learn of the game is by word of mouth. And if people can recommend it to other people, and then eventually some big wig will eventually catch eye of it, and then the big wig plays it, and which will catch the attention of other people, and then make them want to play it. So, ha ha! But that's just the way it is. That is just the way it is.
But anyway, I think I showed off enough for today. Yeah, I think I showed off enough for today, so I think I'm going to end it here. Did a little bit of progress on the game. I got in yeah, the interview by Cloud. Yeah, I remember that. Apparently one of his uh, uh, his partner or something like that was at uh, the convention that I went to this weekend. Yeah, I was chatting with him the other day about that. But yeah, as mentioned, uh, this will be the end of it for now. Did it for two hours. Got a little bit of progression done. Progress and fixes. Still a lot to do. Lots to do and plenty of time to do it. I have a week to get a lot of stuff done on this game, so I wanna I do wanna put some time into actually doing that, so But I'll probably do another stream tomorrow or something. I do have a couple ideas on what games I want to do for tomorrow. They're going to be platformers, so keep an eye out for that. It's either going to be tomorrow or the day after. We'll see. It all depends on how I'm feeling. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. So yeah... That will be all for today. So I've been the Monius, and as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.